What's going on, everybody? This is Darren from Affordable Shoe Review. Here to review some shoes for your friends and you. And today, guys, I will be going over my favorite trade block trade that I have ever made. It was a very even trade, but I ended up getting in a couple pairs of shoes that I have really wanted. And one pair in particular, maybe my new favorite sneaker in my entire collection. This pair is just awesome. Can't wait to go over it with you. So now let's get into the video. If you are new here, please go like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate you very much for stopping by and checking out my video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for continuing to rock with my content. I appreciate you very much. We have hit over 1,500 subscribers. It is all thanks to you guys continuing to interact with me, to comment, to like. Uh, I appreciate you very, very much. Over 1,500. Super excited about it. But now let's go ahead and move into the video. All right, before we get into the shoes, please, I just wanted to remind you of the free giveaway that Danny Moore and I are doing for the Lost and Found Jordan 1s. So we will be giving away a pair of Lost and Found Jordan 1s to one of our subscribers. So you have to subscribe to my channel and to Danny's channel and... You have to comment your size below and then also D DM him proof on Instagram of subscription to both channels. So I will post his information in the description down below, but please subscribe to both channels to be entered into the giveaway and comment your size in the video. All right, guys. So in the past, I have done many videos on trade block. I've done quite a few trade videos. I've even done some reaction videos and uh, even a tips and tricks to trade blocks. So my initial thoughts and stuff like that back when the app came out last year. I still use trade block from time to time. I don't use it as much as I did. I feel like it's kind of died off a little bit, but trade block is still a great platform if you ever want to trade shoes that you are no longer interested in or you do not have interest in for shoes that you do have interest in as long as you can find a trade partner. That's exactly what I did for this video. I found a couple of pairs that I really liked and I sent a trade offer for a couple of pairs that I did not necessarily care for in my collection and it was a pretty even trade. But now let's go into what I got from this trade. All right, guys, so you can see the first box right here. This is the Union Jordan 2 box and this is the Union Jordan 2 in the gray fog colorway. So probably the more or really the less, I'm sorry, the less sought after of the two colorways. There is this colorway as well as the rattan colorway or the rattan colorway, which is a more cream colored or cream based um, colorway of the Union Jordan 2. However, I now have both of them. So I was excited to complete the pack of the two of them. And this is a dope shoe. I mean, I really like the Union Jordan 2. I thought they did some really cool stuff with the silhouette with all these crazy perforations, with these rivets up top and also with the materials. I really like the Union Jordan 2 as far as Jordan 2s are concerned. I'm not a huge Jordan 2 fan, but the Union Jordan 2s look good. Both uh, colorways, in my opinion, look very, very good, and I think the materials are solid. So I was really excited to pick this pair up to match with the rattans so that I have the whole pack. So this was the first pair out of the two that I received in this trade. However, the shoe that we're about to get into might be my favorite shoe in my entire collection now. This shoe is just awesome. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, as you can see, we have the Rainbow Nike SB box. So obviously the Rainbow box has been for more recent releases of the Nike SB line. And this is a collaboration pair between Nike SB and two well-known figures uh, in sporting. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up and show you what pair I have here. All right, guys, a pair that you probably don't see too often but these came out last year. This is the Nike SB Dunk High, Magnus Walker and Ishad Wear. And my goodness, this is a gorgeous pair of shoes. I'm a huge Dunk High fan. I'm a huge Jordan 1 fan, and they are very similar silhouettes. Um, I'm not a huge Dunk Low fan, um, if I'm being honest. Not a ton of Dunk Lows that I really dig. I have a pair of Sean Clivers, and that's probably my favorite Dunk Low that I have in my collection. But the Dunk High is just something that I generally gravitate towards as far as silhouette is concerned. And this pair is super dope. So this is a triple collaboration between Nike SB. 
So Nike skateboarding along with Ishad Ware, who is a skateboarder, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong there, but I believe he is a skateboarder. And Magnus Walker, who is a stock car racer or a stock car guy over in the UK. So they took the collaboration from the three of them. Um, so Nike obviously providing a silhouette and then Magnus and Ishad uh, throwing a lot of different touches on this pair of shoes. You're going to notice a very deconstructed look. This is a very exposed or very thin ankle collar with the exposed foam. Lots of canvas used on here, as well as that crackled leather that runs all throughout the upper of the shoe, as well as some things that are drawing attention to Magnus Walker's cars. I think they're Porsches, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I think they're Porsches. Like you'll see the number back here, the 277. You're going to see the Urban Outlaw text, which I believe is Magnus Walker's nickname because it's got Magnus Walker right here as well, as well as the top of the UK or the United Kingdom flag on top of this Urban Outlaw logo right there. You got the Urban Outlaw logo as well on the other side with a U and an O, but it's just insane. The, the materials used on this, the aged look, you've got the aged bottoms with the red, white, and blue. You also have the aged midsole with like the tire streaks because Magnus Walker is big into racing and stock cars. Just insane. This pair of sneakers is not one that you see super often. Um, I know that I watched a couple of reviews on these whenever they first came out and I fell in love with them, but just wasn't able to get my hands on them. And now I was able to trade for a pair of these. So my end of the trade was my pair of Reese Forbes denim highs. So I had a Nike SB Reese Forbes denim high, as well as the Maison Chateau Rouge Jordan 2. So I traded a Jordan 2 and a Dunk High for a Dunk High and a Jordan 2. Makes sense. Um, I think that the Reese Forbes denims are probably worth a little more than what these Walker and Wears are. However, I think that the Union Jordan 2 that I received is a little more expensive than the Mason Chateau Rouges. So I think that it balanced out pretty well and I got a pair that I am super, super excited about. So anyway, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe for the giveaway and to go sub subscribe to uh, Danny Moore's channel. I appreciate you guys, all my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Appreciate you. I'm gonna continue to put out great content, hopefully for you guys. Thank you for continuing to interact. Please stay safe, stay blessed. We will see you soon. Peace out.